Hey there, this is Gaurav. Welcome back with another video in the series Learn JavaScript from Scratch. Today we will be learning a new topic that is short circuit evaluation. This is a very peculiar, very interesting and I would say very very important concept or behavior of logical operators. So are you ready? Without wasting any further time, let's jump right in. Short circuiting of logical operators. This is a triple star concept. You will be using a lot in real life project. So like the logical operators that we have in JavaScript, especially logical AND and logical OR, it will start checking an expression from left side, right? It will check all the condition from left side. Now each condition, it will convert it into a value that is called Boolean. Now, depending on what operator that we are using, either logical AND or logical OR, and the result that it got after conversion, either true or false, it will decide what to return, either original left hand side, that is the left hand value, or right hand value. Now, let me give you some of the example, then it will be very clear to you. Again, I am back to JS bin, short circuiting of logical operators. So, let's say I am taking on variable that is called message. I have to show some message and that message is let's say learn js from scratch. Now it is very simple right if I want to show this message to console I'll just write console.log then message that's it. So I will get the message perfect. Now let's say in some scenarios I do not know whether I'll get this message or not. It may happen that I haven't got this message right. In such scenarios, what happened? So let's say, instead of that, if I have something like, let's say null, if I have null, that means it is an absence of value, right? In such scenarios, what I'll get? I'll get null, right? But this is not something that I want to show. So if I'll not get any message, then I should show here, no message. To think about it, how we can implement it. That means I cannot directly show the message because it may happen that message can be null. I have to check whether we have value in message or not. If not, then we will show no message available or something like that. So I can think of something that is called, let's say ternary operator, right? We have used it. So how we can use it? Let's say I'm showing something like display message. Now I'll be storing this message not directly first i'll check how i will check first i'll check like this this is where we have null now null is absence of value so it will return false so in upcoming videos i will discuss about true the and falsy value at what situation we will get false and what situation we will get true now let's say if i got message over here then i can show that message otherwise i will write no message so let me just clear it out now in such scenario what happened here if i have to show display message so now see now we are not getting null right we are getting something different that is what i want now if i have this message we'll be getting the actual message that is what i wanted right the same thing can be implemented using logical or Okay, that is the short circuiting of logical OR. How we can do it? Let's see. It is very simple. So in logical OR, what I will do, I will just remove this part and put logical OR. That's it. Let's check it out. We are getting learn JS from scratch because we have that value. Now if I comment it out, if I uncomment it, we'll be getting something like no message available. The same thing we have implemented, right? How it is happening? That is the a peculiar behavior of logical operators. So let me tell you how it is happening. First of all, your message is null, let's say, okay? So now it will start checking from the left side, right? So first it will check message, okay? Based on the value, it will convert it into Boolean. Now what would be the conversion value over here? We'll be getting false. So in OR gate, I mentioned if this one is false, it will go in the next condition, right? In case of AND, it is a different thing. So now what will happen, this entire condition will be returned to this variable. That's why we are getting this message. Now if we have 
the actual value right now. So this is a true the value. So this is something that is containing some value, right? Not null. That means it will give you true. Now in or get what happened if the first condition is true, then it will not see what we have written in the right side. The first condition will be executed. So this part will never be executed. So now my output would be learn JavaScript from scratch. This is what called short circuit evolution. So let me show you for and get. So let me just command this part. So let's say I'm taking an array, though I haven't discussed about array yet. Let's say it would be my array having two values. So don't worry, we will discuss about array in the same series in upcoming videos. But just I want to give you the idea how this short circuit evolution is happening. So now I need to show the first element of this array. Okay. In the console, let's say. So in such scenario, what I can do? Let's say I'm taking one variable first element equal to my array. And we know that zeroth index will have the first element. So again, I will discuss about array in detail in the upcoming videos. Just uh, try to understand the idea or concept. So now I'll be consoling this first element. Let me just clear it out. Let me run it. We are getting the first element that is two. Okay. Again, the same scenarios, because let's say in real scenarios, what happened this value, let's say we are getting from some DB or some API. So we cannot guarantee that always we will have this value, right? So let's say if we have null instead of that, in such scenario, what happened? Let's see. We'll be getting some error, right? Because we cannot now get the first element because this is not an array now. So in such scenario, how we can get rid of this kind of error? If you don't know like whether I'm getting a valid array or not, this is where logical and will work. Let me just clear it out. So now in such scenario, what I will do, I'll just write my array over here, let's say, and I'll just write and. So what happened? So first it will check this condition, my array. Now my array is now null, right? Which will return false. So in AND gate, if first condition or any of the condition will return false, it will not check the other condition. So this part will never be executed. And this is where we have the error, right? So if this part will execute, then we will get the same error, right? So that is where now we will be getting something like null. Let's see. See, we're not getting that error, right? Instead of that, we are getting null, which is fine. But if we have the right value that is an array, so in this condition, this will return true because we are having an valid array now. So because it is true, it will now go and check this condition. Okay. And not only check, it will return this condition directly. And if you run it, you will get two. So that is the main concept of short circuit evolution or short circuiting behavior of logical operators. Very interesting, right? So it will return either left side of the value or right side of the value based on the operator that we are using and the value that it converted in to boolean okay so one more concept uh, that i want to highlight over here that how we can use logical not so you can convert any value into boolean using logical not so just let me comment it let's say i'm having a variable let's say x equal to 2 so now i want to convert it into boolean how i can do it right so if I try to convert this x into boolean value, then what I will get, I will get true because here two is a number, right? It's not like null and undefined false value. So here I will just write double logical not and then x. Let me show you what I'll get. So now we have successfully converted into boolean. So if I have something like, let's say null, which you know that it will convert it into false, we'll get something like false. So how it is happening? So if I talk about this part, this part will convert this uh, null value, which is actually false into true. Again, I'm converting back to false. That is how it is happening. So if you have two over here, then this first part, it will convert this X value into false, right? It will flip the value from true to false. And again, I'm using one more it. So it will again flip it back to true. That's how we are getting true. So that's all about this video. If you have any doubt, please mention that in comment section. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Tata. Bye-bye.